Hey everyone, I'm going to do a video of installing the camel tank on my 1290 Super Venture R. So, here's kind of the unboxing. Uh, there's the tank, some instructions. Get rid of that. Uh, tubing, tubing and bunch of brackets and then the brackets that attach to the uh, to the tank itself so um, I think the actually the uh, video that was that camel tank does is actually really good so this is just more of another pointer for uh, installing it on the 1290 I have a I'm going to actually install um, the tour tech uh, panniers because I have uh, Moscow Moto um, bags as you can see All right. so I it, from what I saw the really the only combination where I could use these bags with the camel tank with the right rack was having the tour tech um, I'd love to hear from anybody who ha has had luck with this combination with a different rack using the Moscow Moto backcountry panniers and the camel tank with a different rack but this was the only one that I that I really saw was compatible with all three of those combinations okay so the first thing I have to do is take off the tank cover Right, or the uh, the fuel, where you put the fuel in, and then drill a new vent hole. So this is uh, what I uh, was informed is a required step when you're installing the camel tank. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, so I loosened the bolts on the uh, rack. Uh, now I'm gonna um, attach the fittings uh, to the camel tank here uh, and some of the brackets uh, to kind of get it prepped to put in. Right now I'm kind of doing everything loose, but when I when I get everything in place, then I'll go through and put um, some medium blue Loctite on every bolt, including the bolts on the pannier rack.
So the new uh, method that they describe, uh, instead of doing the MX style, if you don't have the uh, charcoal canister, is you actually run this tube from the outlet all the way down the bike here and kind of go where the, uh, the other tube outlets are. So I'm going to try to do that. So I actually had a hole for my top case because I have a connector that has lights on it on the top case. So what I actually did was um, I ran this tube and this hole was already kind of big enough um, to run this tube through so that I can um, sort of run it through the inside here where the other um, breather hoses used to go. So I think that looks a little cleaner. Um, this breathing hose, you know, will come around under here. Um, doesn't obstruct anything and I don't have to try to route it along that. So I'm gonna try to put it along the inside where the old breather tubes that I took out went and feed it right back down there. So the way that I routed it, it's not quite long enough to get down where I want. So what I'm actually going to do is take this, uh, if it'll fit, um, I got another barb down here I can try to use. Um, going to connect this actually, this extra piece of hose that was the old breather hose. Uh, when I replaced it with the hose that comes from the camel tank, I took out all that extra hosing. So I'm going to try to connect this up with one of these uh, connectors, and then um, then it'll be long enough. So I think what I'm going to do is route this up first um, through here, and then feed this back up, and I should have. Should have a full breather tube at that point.
All right, so here's the finished product. Um, got the camel tank in. Uh, got the wire, uh, the, the hose here routed around underneath everything. And then it comes out down here at the bottom. Um, and then routed the main fuel hose here. I don't know if you can see it, but that goes up underneath, up to the tank and then up to the, the top here. So everything's put back together. I'll have to go test it out, make sure it's working. I turned it on, uh, left it running for five minutes and turned it off. And then I started hearing some bubbling, gargling from the camel tank, which I think is a good sign, which means it's creating that vacuum and pulling in that, um, that fuel and then also means that uh, I should have the appropriate air. Um, I, I pushed some air through this vent tube too just to make sure that there was no kinks or abstractions through that. So um, overall uh, I think it's pretty good. I still got to add the Moscow Moto uh, bags and if you're going to order the Camel Tank you have to get the Moscow Moto um, kit with it. Um, so that, that is this kit. It's uh, the smaller uh, brackets on the back so that it will fit with the camel tank. Um, and then also you can see all the tubing that I was able to remove. And I still have uh, the SAS uh, connected, but this was all mostly vent tubing actually. And so um, I was able to get rid of uh, a bunch of tubing. I would say if I was gonna do it again, though um, I'd probably just connect the over the vent tube that goes on the camel tank here in the back um, to the existing vent tubing that was already in the bike because I had that in and I thought I was gonna have an MX style vent tube um, so I removed all of that tubing that went from the, the tank all the way back um, I removed all that tubing and then realized, oh, this new tube is the vent tube that actually needs to be run all the way back to where the, the old vent tubes to were. So I think in hindsight, I might have just connected this vent tube to the existing vent tube setup, and then you wouldn't have to run this tube all the way back up. But, um, but other than that, um, I think uh, it turned out pretty good. So um, test it out this coming weekend and see um, see that it works properly. And I should, you know, get somewhere close to 300 mile range now if I've got both tanks full. All right. Thanks a lot.